The fate of 16 National Unity Platform supporters now lies in the hands of the court martial after they changed plea to guilty. The suspects had been charged with treachery and unlawful possession of ammunition which attract death sentence. Lawyers who spoke about the matter say the twist in the events by the individuals, some of whom were arrested four years ago, was expected. One of the lawyers is Samuel Muizi, a former legal counsel to the Rwenzururu traditional leader, Wesley Mumbere, and several of his subjects who received amnesty after years in detention, having been charged with treason. I have no doubt whatsoever that uh, the plea of guilt was not with their freedom of conscience that actually they are guilty. They are highly skeptical that the suspects suddenly pleaded guilty after four years on remand. If someone is to admit after a period of four years, then there must be a question mark. Why shouldn't this person have admitted in the first place? And I, as cancer, I may interpret that because of the situation these people have been going through, because of the emotional uh, distress, among others, it's the reasons why these people admitted uh, to these charges. However, officials in the National Unity Platform leadership have severally accused the regime of coercing the suspects during their detention in exchange of a chance at freedom. They have confirmed they committed the offences and nobody forced them to commit, just like you have seen, no one is there. I arrived after court session, but I'm happy that at least finally I came to check on these young people. The lawyers agree that the change of plea is permissible in law, but in this case, it should have been obtained through a plea bargain process, which they think did not happen. Actually, by now, a convict would know that if you, I plead to this, the sentence may be this. It's like an agreement. But you, you are before a coercion tool. You are before a military court. You do not have that arm's length discussion. Mm. The lawyers argue that the plea of guilty lends credence to the state by washing its hands clean from the accusations of persecution of political opponents. And for the state, it is a reason to prove, to prove their point that indeed these offenses were committed and these people were able to admit ABCD. That means whatever the state was doing, these were not forged. Uh, cases as we have always been had. These are things that were committed by these individuals and have admitted by themselves. So to the state it is an achievement. They add that the military court stands to benefit by having its name sanitized as a competent court to try civilians despite a constitutional court judgment in favor of a petition by the ex-member of parliament Michael Kabazugruka. It was held by the court that it was wrong to try civilians in military court though the implementation was paused after the Attorney General appealed to the Supreme Court that is here to dispose of the matter. That the actual head of that court is a political player who is the president of this country, being the commander-in-chief, it all points to one direction, that there was coercion. It is observed by the lawyers that the decision will impact the opposition through the alienation of their supporters fearing to suffer the same fate. Jackson Onyango, NTV.